Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. Last week, a bunch of info started creeping out of the woodworks regarding Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Today, I'm going to be giving you a full breakdown of everything we know so far, the breaking news that has just come out, and at the end of all of that, my thoughts on whether or not this is appropriate for the Call of Duty franchise at this time, because it's going to be an interesting year, and this is a pretty complex point. So... Let's get into what the hell has happened so far. Last week, we saw Amazon Italy put up a listing for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. But it looked pretty fishy. It was from the official Activision page, so it seemed legit, and it was legit as far as everyone has been able to figure out. But it was listed as releasing on April 30th, which is a Monday, which would be a very weird day to release a Call of Duty title. And April 30th is just a strange date for it, so I reckon that was a placeholder date. And it also had a price which would put it roughly in the $25 price point. Which is also potentially a placeholder, but running with that information, $25 would mean that it's around about probably going to be priced at £20 in the UK. And that is much lower than you'd expect for something like an entire remastered game. So people were kind of confused as to why the price was lower than, for example, we saw with Modern Warfare Remastered when that went standalone. Because, as far as I can recall, that was $40. And this was looking more like $25, like I said. It was actually listed in Euros because, obviously, it was on Amazon Italy. But doing the conversion and kind of making an estimate for how each country would scale, that's the area that we were looking at. Now... Since then, there have been a couple of different tidbits of news that are absolutely worth mentioning as well. For instance, also on Amazon Italy, it was found that there was a Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, Remastered? That was put up on that same Activision listing, the same Activision seller on Amazon Italy. But as far as I can tell, that was just because previously... That game was actually being imported into Italy from other regions, and now it was going to be starting to be sold kind of domestically. That seems to be the cause of that little bit of confusion, as far as I am aware. So that wasn't a reason to disbelieve the posting on Amazon. We've also, in recent days, had a lot of people, for lack of a better word, trolling Best Buy support, Target support, Amazon support trying to get little tidbits of info from them with regards to when we might be able to pre-order, when we might be able to expect release, things like that, and just generally get any info they can about the game. So one instance of that comes from Amazon support. This guy says he's wondering when they can pre-order it for Xbox One or PS4. And Shadul, who is the customer support rep, says, is it out of stock? The guy says it's a pre-order, and he says, ah, you can place the pre-order for it after the 23rd of March, 2018. So he kind of confirmed its pre-order date, but also confirmed its existence because we didn't actually have official word that it was coming out until we basically had this conversation, or at least a couple of these conversations have all come together to really solidify the evidence that is present so far. Now, the important point, or one important point I want to make here is that you cannot trust customer support reps in these sorts of roles because every single year, people ask questions to Amazon or Target or whatever, right? And they're like, hi... When can I get my uh, copy of Black Ops 5? And the customer support rep comes back and says, Oh, that'll be, uh, that'll be next week. Yeah. What you've got to remember is that these people are not paid a lot of money. I know a couple of people that are actually in this exact sort of role at the companies that they work at. And you often get time, for example, for how long your average conversation takes. And if it's taking too long on average for you to give people their answers, then you need to look at your performance and improve it. Like, there's metrics that get put to these people's performance in these roles. And so, someone like Shardul here ultimately probably just wants to give someone the answer that they're looking for. And that's a lot of the time good customer service, but in this case, it also might end up being information that we can't necessarily rely on as fact, okay? So take any and all customer service videos that other YouTubers make or that you see people posting on Twitter because that's a really common one. People will tweet their own customer support kind of history from their chat messages. Don't necessarily assume that it's all 100% true, okay? I just wanted to put that out there. We then had news yesterday that Ali A was flying to San Francisco for some kind of announcement of some kind. He tweeted out saying that he was practicing for something or something along those lines and people were like... Is he playing Modern Warfare 2? Like, what's going on? Unfortunately, he then tweeted out and said, I'm going to squish the rumors right now. I'm not announcing anything Modern Warfare 2 Remastered related 
on my trip. So that's out the window. People were saying, well, it's GDC right now, and originally Modern Warfare 2 was announced, I think, at a GDC or something along those lines, or at least in COD history, that has happened before, but then there have been other people, like Charlie Intel, for instance, who have said, no, GDC is strictly for developer communications about development, and right now, in this kind of climate, it wouldn't be appropriate for them to announce a Call of Duty title there. There is a talk going on from some people at Infinity Ward, but there's been a lot of speculation about what that is even going to be about, and I don't think it's going to be about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered or anything along those lines at all, to be honest, specifically because I don't think there's any hope that Infinity Ward are spearheading the development of this title if it is indeed coming out. Simply because of the fact that they've got to make their next one afterwards, and they're going to be really pressed for time if they do that. So, I think it's unlikely. Right. With all of that said, let's get onto the current news, which is going to be a shock for a lot of you. And when I saw it, I actually was in my university doing some work for my final year project, and I came right home to make this video because... Uh, I think, to be honest, T. Martin put it best. I saw a tweet from him, and he literally said, How out of touch can you get? Okay, let me just... let me read you this Charlie Intel article which is breaking this bizarre news, and then we can talk about it a little bit more, okay? Sources say, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is not developed by Raven, and it has no multiplayer. What? Excuse me? What? Bah? I don't understand. Rumors started swelling this week, about a possible Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 remastered that could be coming in the near future. This is Charlie Intel's article, right? The first listing appeared on Amazon Italy, as I've discussed in this video, so we'll skip past that bit. However, Charlie Intel has learned new information about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 remastered from a source that sent us materials from a Raven Software employee indicating Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 remastered does not have a multiplayer mode. It is a campaign-only remaster according to the material Charlie Intel was sent. We believe this information to be accurate. Campaign only, boys. All of the hopes that people were throwing around with regards to being able to jump back onto Scrapyard and play a little bit of search with your friends, going right shield only, throwing knives across the map, playing Mike Myers on high rise, gone. Absolutely gone. How out of touch can you get? I continue. The information will actually line up with the Amazon Italy listing, and this is a point that I was going to make had Charlie Intel not made it. The listing stated that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered would cost around $25, which was a lot lower than what was charged for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 Remastered in 2017 at $40, as I already said. That game featured SP and MP, and so the price cut to $25, maybe that wasn't actually a placeholder price, but instead was just indicating that this is less of a game. This is just the campaign. That multiplayer extension is just gone. We continue with the article. In addition, the material sent to CI stated that Raven Software is actually not developing Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Although Raven did develop Modern Warfare Remastered in 2016, it does not appear they are working on this title. There are some rumours that Beanox, which kind of took me by surprise a little bit, the team that helped Raven develop Call of Duty 4's remaster, and also develop Black Ops 3 for 360 and PS3 in 2015, could be working on the campaign remastered, as the studio has been on a hiring spree recently, and they've been discussing Call of Duty related projects. Numerous job listings on the company's website state they're looking for people who will be currently dedicated to the development of the Call of Duty franchise. Activision has not announced any official details. We will update as we learn more. So, what the hell? Can I just, can, can I, can, like, where, what's going on? Like, can anyone find the brain of anyone that said yes to this decision? Because I can't. I don't know what the hell's going on here. This is bizarre. Ugh. Modern Warfare 2 had... Possibly one of the best multiplayers out of every single Call of Duty title. In fact, I would pretty much go there and say it's top two or three. Definitely. Like, in pretty much everyone's books, you cannot argue with the fact that Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer was classic! And it's now not being remastered 
and instead, they're remastering the campaign. Who's man? Sorry? Like, I don't get it. Yes, back during Modern Warfare 2, the campaign was pretty cool, but it wasn't the Black Ops 1 campaign, and I wouldn't even want the Black Ops 1 campaign remastered because I've got Black Ops 1 for that! I don't need your campaign remastered, I need the multiplayer remastered to get everyone playing it again, right? It's not just remastering it because I want that graphical increase, it's because I want the re-release. I want the influx of new players. I want the support for the new consoles. Ah, it's so frustrating that Call of Duty would do something this silly. Now then, there is the question of whether or not they might add a multiplayer in the future. It seems from the documents that have been released here, or the lack thereof, but the information that has come out, it seems to indicate that that's not the case currently. But, if the community makes a massive fuss about this, I feel like that could become a reality. And so, if you are really desperate to see a Modern Warfare 2 Remastered multiplayer mode, heck, like, imagine if they canned the campaign. If they just did MP, and, I don't know, maybe if they did, and I know some people are going to dislike this, but maybe if they did a Battle Royale. I know that YouTubers keep saying this right now, but it's simply a concrete fact. The Battle Royale is the biggest genre in gaming currently. It's huge, especially on YouTube. It's ridiculous. And so, Call of Duty getting into that space, especially with all the nostalgia of Modern Warfare 2, would be so effective. But it wouldn't need to be that either. If they did Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer and they just added a couple of game modes to make it fresh, maybe added a prop hunt or something, maybe they make a dedicated Mike Myers mode in the game, all these sorts of things would have been so good. But instead, Call of Duty stay way out of touch with what the community wants and for some reason decide that the campaign is the thing to prioritize over the MP here. I think that this is a really bad step for COD. I really hope that there's been some kind of tragic mistake in all of this. But I do think that if we make enough noise, there's a chance that later down the line we do actually see the multiplayer come back. They did it for COD 4, they can do it for this. We know that it is technically possible. The question is whether Activision are motivated to do it, or whether they're motivated to pay their studios to do it, and to find the time for it. And as such, if right now on Twitter, on Facebook, if you're an investor in investor calls, all sorts, if you can press the fact that the campaign is fine, but it's kind of whatever, the multiplayer is what we want, if we can really make that known, there is a chance that this will change. So, if you don't want the campaign on its own, don't buy the game. If you want the multiplayer in there, then maybe consider telling Activision that you're only going to buy the game if there's MP included, or buy the game but say, I'm not buying any DLC because I want the multiplayer first. Those sorts of things. Establish some boundaries as a consumer, decide what you're happy with and what you're not, and then vote with your wallet. I personally will be buying anyway for sure, just to relive the nostalgia of the campaign, because uh, that will definitely be some good feels, and especially if it's cheaper, that works for me. So I'll be covering it on my channel, etc., but... I only think that it could be so much more. It could be a much bigger deal. It could be much better, much more enjoyable for all of us if there was just that little bit added on. Well, I guess it's not a little bit. It's the entire time multiplayer, but you know what I mean, okay? So, I'm Mr. Off Waffles. Let me know if you agree with me, guys, by dropping a like on the video or leaving a comment if you disagree. And other than that, hopefully I'll see you very soon in more Call of Duty remaster or Black Ops 4 news or whatever it might be. All right? See you later, guys. Bye-bye.